This is the third ROV project I've undertaken, and the one I've been the most satisfied with so far. To save myself some time, I decided to use the open source ROV project OpenROV for the mechanical design. This allowed me to focus on doing the software and electronics myself. I was motivated to design my own software and electronics, partly because I wanted to feel like I had actually designed something in this ROV, and also because I wanted a completely embedded tether station. From my previous experiences, I knew that using a laptop was not going to work in the field. I designed a simple interface board which connects to the standard OpenROV 2.8 connector, and in turn can be connected to a Raspberry Pi for control. I opted to use the same power over Ethernet solution as the OpenROV project, which is the most clever and cheap solution I've been able to find so far. A simple body was 3D printed to hold the electronics boards in place. At this point, I really want to recommend OpenROV for anyone looking to get into do-it-yourself ROVs. The community is great, and all the designs are open source. You can even buy a complete kit, or just individual parts if you want. Once the ROV was constructed, I began work on the tether reel. An important goal for this project was ease of use, so the only user interface I wanted was a PS3 joystick and a pair of standard FPV goggles. These are both wireless, which makes it easy to waterproof the tether assembly. Dedicated software on the Raspberry Pi ensures that the system is up and running fast without the need for any configuration in the field. The Raspberry Pi simply streams live video to the goggles and the joystick connects over Bluetooth. The PS3 joystick controls the ROV thrusters, LEDs, camera pitch, and also whether to start stop recording. As with my previous ROV projects, I used a slip ring in the tether, allowing me to use a reel. An electronics box from AliExpress was used to house everything, and two LEDs and a power switch are the only external interaction points. Green for connection status, red for recording, and the button to safely shut down the Raspberry Pi in the tether and the ROV. So, does it actually work? 